All new for you this morning. Today is a critical day for schools all across New York State, known as Beds Day, kind of like a census, but for schools. In our last half hour, we heard about the importance in Niagara Falls City Schools. Listen. Beds Day is the uh, day when school districts across the state are responsible for giving all of the information uh, about the current status of the school. So this morning we're going in depth, speaking to some Buffalo Public School administrators on the impact Beds Day could have on the very youngest students. Today is a really important day. It's Beds Day around New York State and all across the state, students are being counted by their school districts. But why is this data important? perhaps now more than it has been in years past. Enrollment numbers do affect um, the money that we receive from the state. So that's part of it. But our biggest goal in getting students to continue to register is the academic and social emotional support that we know we can provide them. And so much of this has to do with kindergartners and pre-kindergartners in particular. So why is it that we need to get them registered as soon as possible. Absolutely. So pre-K and kindergarten is really the foundation um, in which all learning is built. Um, so that is the opportunity for um, kiddos to come in and to connect with their peers and to begin, begin establishing relationships um, with teachers and um, other adults outside of their home. Um, so it's really important for them to have, um, have that, that exposure and that experience. So if I'm a mom or a dad sitting at home and I've got a pre-kindergartner or a kindergartner or a school age child at home and I'm saying you know what now's not the time for my child to be registered in school in a public education why do you say now is the time when you join pre-k or you join kindergarten you become part of that class and your parents become part of that um, family you you're welcomed in by the teacher and the teacher assistant the administration welcomes you you get to experience um, so much that you might not at home. That said, so much of our education right now, especially in Buffalo Public Schools, is all remote. So is there a benefit to waiting a year? I think the sooner you can start engaging with learning and um, with that community of learners, I think the better it is for your student. Um, so yes, it's a slightly different experience over the computer screen, but you're still connecting with other families and other students, and you're building that relationship with your teacher. We're starting every day, even with our littlest learners, in circle time so that, you know, they're learning how to make friends, how to understand their feelings. That's in addition to the cognitive pieces that they're also learning. And Tanja, maybe you can speak to this. How many kindergartners or pre-kindergartners do you expect are still out there who haven't registered? Well, I don't have an exact number. We just know that um, the numbers are decreased um, this year. And let me ask you why you think that there are so, f so, so many fewer enrollments in kindergarten and pre-K. The devices um, are on their way. The technology tools are on their way. Um, probably has something to do with it. I think um, as Chief Botticelli and Ms. Young shared, uh, this is certainly a different year. You know, um, it's been different since March. And so I think, you know, for some families um, that maybe had already set up arrangements for whether it's a babysitter, a grandparent or whomever to watch the children, um, you know, now to disrupt that and see how they can fit into a remote learning environment may be a little different or scary for them. But I just want to say that we're we're here, we're willing to support, you know, helping them to get registered. We're hoping that parents will, you know, see this and will take that step to get their children registered. Ladies, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate your time. You can get more information available on WKBW.com. Thanks again, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So the idea here is that it's really important for kindergartners and pre-K students, the youngest learners, but this survey and this system is actually going to have some telling signs about the future for high school students too in terms of enrollment when it comes to the pandemic. We'll find out if high school seniors perhaps are dropping out to go to work perhaps. We're hearing a lot of that happening around Western New York, so time will tell. You can kind of hear that parents have a concern when it comes to registering their kids right now because maybe they're not 
used to the school yet because their kids are going to kindergarten, right? Or they're going to preschool. Exactly. So that is a huge concern. Well, and I asked about why maybe not waiting a year or maybe why we should wait a year rather. Right. Uh, because, you know, they're all virtual at this point. And, you know, the idea here is that they need to start those social emotional connections yeah. as early as possible. And they say that pre-K and kindergarten is really the foundation and sets you on track for the rest of your educational career. Right. Still important, even if you're doing it virtually. Sure. All right, Ed, thanks.